In this tutorial, we're going to be keeping track of how many kills a player has killed and who has the current highest kills in the game. So if that sounds interesting, stay tuned and I'll see you after the intro. So getting started, I want you to create two nodes. This is the kills and the highest kills. So this is going to be keeping track of how many we have killed and how many as the highest person um, in the map killed. As children of it make counters, so um, it's just going to be labeled. I also have probably the same font. So we're going to make one for kills and one for highest kills. So with that done, I want you to go over to the server and on the script here, over here, the bullet. Where we're assigning the name we want to give to the bullets, we want to add something else. So we're going to add IDX. So now instead of our bullet name looking like this, it's not going to look like this. I'll explain the reason for that in the next step. But mostly it's just so that we'll be able to strip this player ID or we'll be able to get the player ID quite easily. Because we want to be keeping track of who is the person that shot it, who is the person that killed who, and all that stuff. So back in the client, and we're going to go to player bullet, sorry, and other bullets.csm. And we'll go to the script. And over here where we're passing the damage, we're also passing the name of the bullet this name remember it carries the person that shot it the object and the object index so we'll go over to the player and over here we'll record the da damage function we're just going to add a comma and bullet name so now this bullet name is not going to be useful all the time it's only when the player is killed so the person that shot the last bullet that killed the player is probably the killer i guess so we're going to make a variable called killer and it's going to be equal to an empty string. We're actually going to loop through a range of characters, um, the length of the bullet name minus six. And the reason is because since we have bullets in front of the name, then we have to remove that bullet and which is six characters. So as you can see here, if bullet the name plus I, um, six plus I is a valid integer. So if we start counting and we see that, okay, um, it starts with an integer, then Add killer plus equals to bullet name 6 plus i. That's basically just going to add the letter there. And that's how it's just going to go in the loop until it gets the last um, integer. So now that is actually the reason why we why we added IDX here. Because when it's when it checks, after I finish checking and sees all the long um, player ID stuff, then it's going to check i and i is definitely not a valid integer. So it's just else break and close the loop there. And and basically that's it so here when we say player killed um several rpc id one player killed we're also going to send the person that killed so we're going to send the killer so with all that done we're ready to create a function in the server so we're here in the server and up here we just want to create some variables first of all we're going to create kills and it's going to be equal to a dictionary then we're going to make a variable called highest and this is the person with the highest kills and it's just going to be equal to zero by default then we want to add that player to the dictionary. So we say kills um, str id equals to zero. Basically sets whoever is coming newly to zero. Then on the disconnected function, here we're just going to say kills the erase and id. So we're going to remove the person um, and his score from the dictionary, basically. So with that done, and over here on player kill, we're just going to be editing some things. Remember from the clients, we are passing also the killer. So over here, we're also going to pass in the killer. Then after we get the player ID, then kills killer plus equals one. Basically add one to the number of people that the killer has killed. Then we're going to check if the person that killed right now has the highest kills. That's by just saying kills killer greater than highest. Then we're going to send an RPC call to everybody that, okay, there's a new highest updated. Then we're also going to send an RPC call to the person that killed and say, okay, update your own kill. So you can actually do this on the client side. But as I said, for synchronization, the server has to do everything, I guess. So we, instead of sending it to everybody, we just send it to int killer, which is going to be an integer version of the killer. Then it's going to use update skills to update the current kill count. So with all that done, it's time to go back to the client. On the client here, we'll go back to server.gd. So all these functions that the RPC calls, we're going to have to create them. But before that, I want you to go back to the map, map.csn, and I want you to create a script to this map. So in here, we're just going to have two functions. The first one is going to be update kills, and in here, we're passing the number of kills. 
and in this function basically we're just going to say kills the text equals to the string version of the number of kills basically that is all you need and also the kills and the highest kills are going to be under the player so to fix that we're going to add a canvas layer node and also put the kills and higher skills as a child of it then we go back to the script and instead of just passing in raw kills we pass in canvas layer slash kills now also it's not just the, it's not the kills we're updating it's the count so kills slash count the next function is going to be similar to this so i'm just going to copy it and paste it and this one is just going to be updates highest and here i just get to pass in higher skills count the text equals to string kills so with all that done i think we're good we go back to the server and here on the remote update kills function you just get to get the map and update kills with the number of kills and the update highest function is just going to do the same thing by updating the highest with the number of kills hopefully we are good i'm not sure we might run into some errors but it's worth testing so we hit play and we run on the server too so as you can see here, I got two instances open. I'm going to join on this side, join on this side. And I'm going to go over here and kill this guy. And yes, my kills got updated, um, but the highest didn't get updated for some reason. I'm going to go back and check that. But let's just be sure. I'll kill this guy too. Yeah, the highest isn't updated. And actually, I'm sorry, my bad. I forgot something. Instead of just sending the highest, as you can see, we're not, we're not incrementing the highest anywhere. So we're actually meant to say highest plus equals one. Or to be more precise, we do highest equals to kills killer. So that's the highest person that so that's the number of kills that the highest person has killed. So we're going to run this again to be sure. Go over to the clients, run it. So this time around I have three instances open. So I'm going to join game on the three of them. And over here I'm just going to kill this guy. As you can see, highest got updated everywhere and my number of kills is one. So I'm just going to try killing about two people. As you can see, highest got updated. If another person um, kind of gets in the mood and kills more than, as you can see, he updated to one, but the highest is still two. Then we come back here and kill and kill this guy. You can see highest got updated to three. And uh, yeah, basically that's how to implement some score count system. Actually to do this at first, I was scared. Because I didn't want this tutorial to be long, but I actually found a way to do it really nicely. So yeah, I think that's all. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Smash subscribe and goodbye.